Good morning to everyone, respected principals, sir, resource persons, and participants. It's a privilege for me to coordinate this webinar, Awareness on Use of Online Resources, jointly organized by Dibru College, Borhola College, and Assam College Librarians Association. It is the need of the time in the pandemic situation of COVID-19 to get access to numerous electronic resources available on web. The webinar will highlight the various aspects of accessing e-resources and also teaching learning process in e-environment. I hope we will benefit it a lot. Thank you. Now, I would like to introduce Dr. Zitu Burago Hai, sir. Yes, sir. He is, yes, sir. He is a he is principal of Dibru College. Now I request Dr. Sir to um, deliver his inaugural speech. Thank you, Venus. Various dignitaries, Professor Singh, Dr. Paul, other dignitaries, esteemed participants. Welcome to all of you. Uh, to this workshop on a uh, very pertinent issue, online e-resources. So fortunately or unfortunately, we have witnessed COVID-19 pandemic and this pandemic has disrupted the education sector. This disruption has pushed the policymakers, the educationists to chalk out and to figure out and ensure inclusive e-learning solutions and tackling the digital divide. We don't know what will be the classroom situation in future. We don't know how the curriculum can be transacted in the future. But definitely, ESSS will play a pivotal role in curriculum transaction. The ESSS can catalyze the paradigm switch in the content and pedagogy that is the core areas of education reform. There is definitely an advantage in e-learning resources in respect of the library. It says space in the library and there will be no missing books. Only disadvantage is that there is low bandwidth and load setting issues in educational institutions. There is a cause of little bit concern in respect of librarians, the libraries and whether the libraries and librarians will become the last resources. Therefore, the librarians must anticipate the sins and accept the changes and adapt with their changes as much as possible. With these few words, I once again welcome all the participants. With this hope that this MNS program will be fruitful and not to be a missed event. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now we are going to introduce Mr. Srimanta Madam Pora, sir, who is a president of Assam College Library Association. Please say something, sir. We are waiting your thank, speech. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Respected inaugurator of today's webinar, Dr. Zitu Buraguhai, Principal, Principal Sir, Dibru College, Dibrugar. Respected Biren Dr. Sir, Principal Borhula College, esteemed speaker, Professor Sanjoy Kumar Singh, Head of the Department of Library and Information Science, Guwahati University, and Honorable uh, Advisor of our Assam College Librarian Association. Another speaker, Dr. P.K. Deka, General Secretary, ACLA, and Librarian Kesidas Commerce College. And Dr. Virendra Pal, Coordinator, ICT Cell of Assam College Librarian Association. On behalf of the Assam College Librarian Association, welcome to everyone here today on this webinar on awareness program on online e-resources. It is indeed a matter of privilege 
to share this platform with you all. For me, it has been a rewarding experience being associated with Assam College Labor and Association, a premier professional organization of Northeast India. As you know, with our limited resource and manpower, our ICT cell of Assam College Labor and Association has been conducting a series of various training program to the library professional and library users. Education today is in the result, stepping a new phase. We must come forward and work together for the betterment of the student community of our region. I believe this awareness program would be a great opportunity in enhancing our knowledge. Thank you again for being here, for giving us the opportunity to share this pleasing experience. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Now I am going to introduce um, Dr. P.K. Deka, sir. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Uh, he is uh, the secretary of Assam College Librarian Association, and he is a librarian of uh, Kesidars Commerce College, Guwahati. Please, sir. Yeah, thank, you, thank you, thank you, Thank you, Yes, yes. Yeah, what do you want know? Yes. Two minutes. Yes. Okay, two minutes. Okay. okay. Uh, Honorable uh, President, Assam College Library Association, uh, Principal Dibu College, Dr. Dibu Gurabhai, sir. And uh, Honorable Principal Borola College, Dr. Dr. Sir. This is a person of today's uh, Professor Sanjay Kumar Singh, head of the Development, Library in Church. The Library of University, advisor of Assam College Library Administration, Dr. Pirinder Pal, Convener of ICT Cell, Assam College Library Administration, Librarian Pelayamur College, respected faculty of both college and respected participants, President of the Library. On behalf of ACLA, I also welcome all of you for this emerging program. As our principal chair told us, that when this situation already failed, give us that love in their country. And not only our country, all over the world, 1.5 billion people, my students and youth already affected. And uh, it, it, uh, this is a compel all the educational institutions for the world to adopt uh, teaching and online uh, platform. And the lockdown and unlock, and from today it's become unlock one, has accelerated adoption of more digital technology. Uh, this is an ideal time, I think, to experiment of deploy new tools and techniques to make election delivery meaningful to them. The government of India, uh, as well as uh, state government, and taking lots of initiatives to minimize the education loss of our students. A different ministry and previous department of MSRD, Department Technical uh, Education and MCRD, has released lots of advisory regularly for that, uh, that situation. And there are several ICT initiatives. Uh, of uh, MHRD, UGC, and uh, inter university uh, centers and information and library network implemented and uh, consortium for education and communication in the form of this kind of digital uh, platform. Uh, this digital platform can be assisted by the uh, research students and uh, our research scholars in universities and colleges for learning. And uh, this ICT uh, initiative, which uh, covered a both uh, range of subjects and courses, uh, has been prepared by experts for uh, providing an excellent learning uh, experience to all. And some of these are the same online course and uh, EG, uh, EPG, MOOCs, uh, EPG Bachala, e content uh, courses, in the subject, e content courses for. Uh, I mean, TEC in the YouTube channel, National Digital Library, Sutunga, Isuch Hindu, Bidjavan, our Enlist, uh, NDLI, uh, etc. In the view, all of these uh, some college library and education initially has taken a series of programs to be able to be the of college library and research and other like other important uh, online initiatives. And the some college library and education. Apply basically I think we have created a for the welfare of college library in our farm. 
which was established on uh, 1973. And our main, this time our main objective is to create awareness on the use of uh, online resources as directed by MS study among the library professional teacher, uh, among uh, our research and our uh, principal and all academic communities of Assam. And we are providing this service voluntary and it is a modest contribution to, uh, from uh, our, to our economic communities of Assam. And I'm happy to inform you that as our uh, president said for the during uh, lockdown period already, we have successfully completed of 16 numbers of winners on awareness of users of different, different colleges of Assam. All the technical uh, nature handled by the, our RCP cells, I think as an assistant, uh, of the assistant under the leadership of our Dr. B. And in this also we are planning to provide a similar online program for teachers and students of uh, our, uh, not only in Assam, in outside of Assam also. I think on Saturday we will going to organize one webinar with in Maharashtra also. And there I have would like to request all participants to subscribe our YouTube channel where already uh, we have posted lots of informative uh, videos which will be benefited for you. And I offer my heartfelt thanks to, uh, to the resource person of Dr. Sanjay Kumar Singh and Bail of Al. Sanjay Kumar Singh is a national, uh, national level IRS professional and his teaching art is busy time. Really, we are thankful uh, for him and Dr. Bail of Al. Without him, it is not possible for me to uh, organize this type of organization. Uh, and uh, both, I think, both of resource person will cover uh, all, all of. Uh, Digital, digital initiative taken by the uh, MHRD. And I would like to offer my special gratitude to both principal sir, Dr. Jitu Bura Bahai, Jitu College and Sri Dhyan Dr. Sir, Borola uh, College, for giving us the opportunity. Special thanks to uh, Deepika Das, Librarian, Jitu College and the Botanic World Librarian, uh, Borola College. Both are a very active member of uh, SEA. And both, I think they are both are the coordinator of this program. I congratulate them, and we feel honored to organize this program to uh, this two of uh, uh, two oldest colleagues of Assam, the uh, Guru and Jorhar District. It is great honor for us, and that I in I once again I welcome all participants to this webinar. I'm sure that you will be benefited from this online resources program, and thank you all. All the best. Thank you, Jeta I would like to introduce Mr. Biren Dr. Sir, Principal Borhola College. Yes. Please, sir, give your speech for this webinar. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Hello, good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Biren Dr. Principal Borhola College. I hope everyone is doing fine in this period of lockdown. Well, I am excited to be hosting this session today. It gives me immense pleasure to inaugurate today's webinar on awareness program on the use of online resource organized by Central Library Borola College under continuous effect of our librarian Bornali Core is associated with Assam College Library Association. Well, because of coronavirus pandemic, normal function is school and colleges has been described immensely. But still, we have to try to continue our teaching there are many online research platform like Zoom, Google Class, Cape, YouTube, email. By this platform, we can directly communicate with the students and can continue the process teaching and learning. In this 21st century, the the Digitalization of information and data has elevated the education sector gently leading to the 
even of a new concept of e-resource like e-book, e-journal, e-newspaper, e-magazine, etc. The utility of e-resource in the library and e-educational platform is quite broad, which will be described in details by our remaining speakers. Moreover, I would like to talk this opportunity to greet our respected speakers today's sessions, Dr. Sanjay Kumar Singh, Professor and HOD Department of Library and Information Science Guwahati University. Dr. Prasanto Kumar Deka, General Secretary, ACLA and the Librarians, Kesidas Commerce College. Dr. Brenda Paul, Coordinator, ICT Cell, ACLA, and Librarian, Kolyabor College. I have I also thanks all the participants for their presence. I'm quite certain that everyone will be benefited by this webinar. Moreover, I also would like to ask our organizers for organizing this type of webinars in the near future. I conclude by thanking everyone for fitting me to inaugurate this webinar. Thank you and stay safe. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, I am going to um, directly to Dr. Sanjay Kumar Singh, sir. Uh, he is a scholar in the field of library information science. I, yes. I, I request, sir, please deliver your Lecture. Yeah, thank, thank you, Deepika. So, good morning and namaskar to all of you uh, in this pandemic era. And today is a good day for all of us that we are under unlockdown, uh, un unlock up, unlock up one. So, that's a good sign. Uh, they are coming out slowly. So, uh, Honorable Principal of Dibru College, Dr. Jitu Borgohai, and as well as the Honorable Principal of uh, Borgola College, Dr. B. N. Datta, and uh, the librarian of both the colleges. Uh, Dr. Deepika Das, librarian of this uh, Dibru College, and, and Dr. Bernali Kumar, librarian of uh, Borhola College, and the president, Sri Simanta Madhav Borada, the president of SCLA, who is the main person leading from the front uh, to the SCLA, and uh, Prasanta and Brinder is working under his guidance, and uh, the situation and result is in front of you. They are working day and night, and they are providing you such type of information. And all the participants, uh, teachers, faculties, the staffs, and the students of both the colleges, Barbola College and Dibu Colleges. So today, the beginning of the first day of unlock period. So it's a good sign for all of us. And uh, for the last uh, 60, 70 days, 70 days, uh, uh, I can say that uh, we are using the rapid learning system. When we talk about the sharing, sharing, allow the sharing, we are in there. Will there allow the sharing? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, during this period, lock, lock, uh, rapid learning period, uh, we are having, uh, we are talking about the online resources, we are talking about the e-learning, etc. So, for your common information, that we can say that online learning has completely changed the scenario of both academic uh, education as well as the corporate training. Because of its simplicity and uh, quickly available, as I have used the term rapid learning. So, rapid learning self the word that quickly we are doing many things. So, that's the most important part. So, here we will be talking on e learning as well as uh, we are we'll be talking on uh, what we call that uh, e resources, online e resources. So, there are n number of e resources. We don't know, we don't know how many e resources are there, and we don't have any measuring instrument or rod also that how many resources are published every day or this. Certain things, some of the publishing houses, or some of the sites, websites are claiming that uh, this number of, or that number of publishing documents are published. So, in one of the slides, I will show you that uh, about 50 books are published every minute. Uh, this say 
for the world. If you calculate like that, then there will be a huge amount of the documents. If it would have been in the physical form that you cannot imagine, we need a big area to keep all those books. But uh, luckily that we are having, and you are using these online resources, that's why those are not major problem for us. And uh, yesterday just, uh, I was searching one thing uh, under World Book Fair, I searched within within 51 seconds, only 51 seconds, more than 15 crores of documents were searched by the system, Google, Google search engine. See the vastness, see the vastness. And 15 crore is not a small amount. So we'll be talking several things on that area quickly because we don't have time, that data is very costly and you cannot lose the data for this way or that way. That's why let, let me come quickly to the area. And I would start, I would like to start with Mahatma Gandhi saying that my heart is drawn backwards and forwards between the spinning wheel and book. So I'm giving importance to the book and spinning means the growth and speed the book is increasing. So book is increased in a such a way that now we are talking about the only e-books, e-documents and e-journals, etc. So Mahatma Gandhi will back uh, during his lifetime, he has said such, such type of things. And uh, many of you library professionals, all of you know that uh, Lancaster had many years back, he told that we are moving towards the paperless society 50, 60 years back. So really we are in the paperless society during that time. Nobody was believing on him that we are moving towards the paperless society. That is the more and tremendous change you can say that in the society as the principal of uh, uh, Dubrug College was talk talking about the change, accept the change, adopt the change as soon as possible. So we the library professionals are trying to adopt the change and we're providing, trying to provide all sorts of information. I am very happy to say that our all librarian colleagues, librarian friends working in different colleges and institutions are rendering their service very well in this pandemic era and we are proud of those library friends coming days also so as time and tide wait for none so the time pandemic has taught us a new new lesson and given us new new idea though pandemic was something bad but for us at, at this moment you can say that it was a boom it was a gift away by the nature you can say that uh, that we have learned many things during this lockdown period so time is changing very fast and what is the whatever the time is there we have to accept those time we accept those changes which is important for us so uh, as it is changing very fast so everything is transforming in a tremendous way rapid way you can say that so we should accept all the changes and there are n number of at the beginning i have told you that uh, there are n number of uh, information resources available throughout the world throughout the globe so this way and other way we have to find out and you have to accept only those which are usable for us, which will be useful for us. Others, there are many things, many things will be omitted and leave it left out. Only those relevant according to for you, something is relevant for me, something is relevant from somebody else, something is relevant. So only the relevant things can be taken care of and we should proceed further in our life. So as I told, librarians are the sole response uh, person for disseminating that information, communicating to you. And libraries are not untouched, you can say that. So like through the library, library is a medium, library is, is set as a nucleus of an organization, institution. So if library does not exist, then that library, that institution is not going to prosper in that direction because library is uh, providing you with a mental food, you can say that. So there are various uh, revolution, whatever we are talking about, whatever we are providing through the digital mode, electronic mode. So all everything depends upon some scientific developments. So that's why this particular point here, last point of this slide says that various revolutions are the examples of social and scientific development. And it's very much true regarding that. So see here we have divided, we know about green revolution, you know about uh, uh, white revolution, you know about industrial revolution, you know about technological revolutions, etc. So this industrial revolution, this industrial revolution here it is divided into four types, four parts, you can say that. The first one, 1700, 1700, steam engine was uh, invented, uh, you know the importance of the steam engine at today's life. Then second in 1800, that is electricity, without electricity we cannot survive also. Then third one is the 1990s, during 90s, that is computer, digital electronic devices, all sorts of technology, etc., came into bombarding, etc., in that period only. And today, during 2000, 2020, etc., we are talking about the artificial intelligence, like that type of thing. So, in artificial, artificial, artificial intelligence, we can have uh, 3D printing technology, we'll have robotics type of things, and many more things are coming up. So, when 5G will come directly to our country, then you will find that lots of changes has taken place, and all changes are. Uh, 
uh, used for our day to day activities and robotics we have seen the robotics usability of this robotics uh, in the hospitals some of the big hospitals in our country they are using taking the help of those rob robotics to meet the patient that patient directly cannot meet the doctors so after come crossing two or three phase only a patient can meet the doctors that type of facilities are being we are providing and when this 5g will be promptly available then we cannot imagine we don't know where we'll go only time will say to us so i will i will define this this thing about in the form of a life cycle our life cycle everything has got its life cycle so this life cycle is that directly related to the professional life cycle you can say that so here the some important emphasis and important is importance is given that learn something you have learned you have got the degree you have got a specialized degree you are working in your specific subjects area etc some everybody's profession is different then at the end you are going to the retirement but in between lots of things are coming and going so first whatever thing you have learned in your childhood or school days or college days that has become good if you think seriously then you will find that it has become obsolete nowadays 100% not but even 70 to 80% is obsolete and you are learning new things so what i mean to say that whatever you have learned earlier unlearn that forget all those things and relearn the new things and start service to the nation start giving service to the society start service giving to the people of the country people of the state etc and then when you are successful in all areas then again the time will come when you are going to superintendent or when you are going to retire from the service but the library professional the teaching communities and uh, those who are directly or indirectly associated with the academic fraternity etc they are never retiring from the services only they are unlearning and learning new things and they are till death with they are providing the service to the country that is more the most important aspects of today's is whether we are talking about e learning or whether we are talking about e resources etc so all of you know your traditional jobs new role what is about new role today all of you know your traditional jobs according to your designation according to the qualification etc and during this pandemic every profession has joined and got the new responsibility every profession has taken up the new responsibility this way or that is that so we are providing you through the online mode we are providing you through the digital mode etc and almost all branches of knowledge they are taking the they are providing the service in different mode now the question mark here is given that what will be our job title after lock up period is started that means after lockdown is over now we have to define our new job title whether we will be confined to the first one that is traditional job whether we are adding the new responsibility when you will add those a new responsibility for the traditional job then what will be the job title etc that only time will say and you are the best just to judge it now let me discuss something related to online learning e learning whatever you call it so this is just graphical representation that uh, some two graphics are there they are showing that something is happening and uh, uh, through the technology they are doing some work so that is related to the e learning so anything learn through the online mode etc and some certificates some degree some diploma i have awarded so we can call it in e learning or any without degree certificate also you can learn many thing in the this. so google this one the youtube youtube is one of the best example to learn many thing knowingly unknowingly you don't know anything you want, don't want, don't know how to operate this that this device or that device particular device or you want to have some information you go to the youtube and just find out the information the ready made informations are there and many informations are there only you have to choose which one is important for you and which you, you like it best so e learning is nothing but it is a web based learning commonly referred to as e learning or online that is online platform if you are learning anything that is e learning etc and then learning utilizing digital technology that is digital devices etc you are using it uh, for educational sources outside the conventional classroom system outside the classroom system when you are learning see this online e learning etc are beneficial for all first of all it is most beneficial for those earner and learner those people because of their family background uh, they don't have much money etc so they are working in different in a institutional organizations in industries etc and during their time they are busy with the livelihood earning livelihood etc and they want to learn also for them this type of online learning platforms or e learning platforms are very very useful you can get the degree desired degree accordingly so digital platform offering courses program degrees delivered entirely through the online here many things are to be discussed here just i am pointing out only the prominent one few of them so let us dis discuss some uh, disadvantages of this uh, e learning etc so it is very efficient way of delivering of course online so time is saved rapid quick fire like things are there and it is flexible easy in the beginning i have told you because of that uh, we, everybody is uh, easily access it 
due to its convenience and flexibility, as I have already mentioned. Every student, researchers, teachers can take advantage of web based learning. I told you that uh, Google or any platform, online platform, you go. There are various online courses nowadays. Even the coachings are being provided online course. Even the for student also, school going students also said so like you know about the byju.com etc. So they are providing teaching and learning to the students, especially during the lockdown period. Also, they have become very famous in the society. So not we are not thinking only about about society, but about children also who are reading in the school etc. So this is a great way of for the learners to learn at their own pace, processing material without being held back. Or hurried or peers, etc. So this is the most advantage part of the e-learning or online learning, what you call it. And when there is a disadvantage, there must be some disadvantage also. We have to be safe. Everything has got, you know, the a Newton's third law, FDX, and has its equal and opposite reaction. So when you are going for good, something bad will also come up. So e-learning lacks face-to-face -face communication. Okay, fine. E-learning face-to-face -face communication. But at this moment, when you are trans, we are communicating with each you each other so we are not directly face to face but digitally we are face to face so this nowadays this may can be changed in this type of disadvantage etc then lack of pressure of disadvantage in the same that it causes students and abandon their studies more easily so here i would like to this two three points just i would like to share here few, one minute uh, that you see in your home also children are there school going children are there or college going children are there you have seen that school going children are more tortured I can say that more tortured by the school community by conducting six hours, seven hours online classes. It is very dangerous for the school going children. Three, four hours is sufficient. I suggest that three, four, three hours is sufficient. So in this six hours, the student had leisure period, a sports period, library period, and other periods. Sometimes teacher is not coming like that. Three, four hours were maximum. So why they are going for six hours or seven hours or giving assignment every day? That type of happenings are being conducted in many private and public schools you have seen. So this, this is one type of torture in the online period also. This is one of the disadvantages of this. And there are some person who goes on talking seamlessly. Uh, hundreds, more, more than 100 PPTs are there and he or she wants that. I have prepared 100 PPTs. I will show to the audience whether the audience is liking or not. So that type of things are also seen nowadays regularly. Uh, so that type of things become torturous. In the online classes or online webinars or whatever we call it, half an hour to so lecture is sufficient. So one person, if he he is talking half an hour, that is too much. Should not. So to five to thirty minutes is maximum. So one person half an hour, another person half an hour, that is sufficient. You should not go for webinar. Should not continue for three hours or four hours. Then nobody will be sitting in front of this. Your concentration will break, etc. So these are some of the disadvantages, etc., which you have to take care of in the coming days. Also, future, as our principal was telling, the principal of the college was telling, changes. So that's why I have shown you some graphics here related to change. So the change is moving rapidly. So there is no fixed time, and there is speed in such a way that uh, uh, that we are unable to say this change. This is moving so fast. You see here, and this is innovation ideas are coming up every day. So everybody is free to think anything, and they can impart. You have seen that very very good quality apps are nowadays available in the smart uh, electronic devices or the web etc. and the online e-learning, e e-platform, e etc. You can say that. So innovative ideas from the students, innovative idea from the college-going students, etc. When children, school-going children, class 10 students, class 11, 12 students are preparing and making new and beautiful, which are very, very useful, uh, this thing, uh, apps, etc. So this is online, this more classes, online learning is going on. This is the social media platform using the social media platform this is the digital library concept we are talking about the digital library virtual library etc and this is web 2.0 web 3.0 web 4.0 that type of goes or continue so this is mere just graphically it is shown about the changing society how we are changing ourselves in our day-to-day -day activities and it is really happening in all corners of the subject i'm not talking on library science or allied subject it is all branches of knowledge this type of changes are being taken place throughout the world so e-resources quickly on e-resources. So e-resources are nothing but it is called that. Uh, it is referred as the electronic publishing in the digital form or electronic serials or journals or articles or books or any document in the digital form may be termed as the electronic resources. Uh, it can be read online, it can be read offline. Offline means you download it and preserve in some of the devices and later you read it, you can preserve in your hard disk itself, in the computer itself or preserve in the other hard uh, these external devices also and later on according to your requirement you can use it and on online just online you get go to the web and your online connectivity is there the only thing is that your internet, 
internet connections will be fast and uh, you should have sufficient data for that then you can start using and reading online so electronic resources definition the common and layman's definition here given out there are beautiful definitions available in different resources and book but as this is only the awareness program our intention is to aware, aware all of the all the citizens of the country or the state citizen people of the state of assam academic society of the assam the how to use the e resources what are the e resources available online e resources available offline e resources available and how it will be useful that our intention is that as an acl is voluntarily working on that day and night for you providing such Type of information. It's a good job done by the ACLA. So, in that uh, uh, consequence, also we are talking about. We are not going to the technical part of that. We are not going in depth of that. Simply giving you some idea how to use those online resources. That's why some simple definition here it is given that it is a bundle or group of information which are disseminated, prepared, or made in electronic and digital form, which are communicated, disseminated. published and distributed electronically throughout the world that is the simple meaning of this way if you go to the book if you go to the trend uh, scientists if they have defined electronic resources in different way but here i am not going to discuss the definition etc i just only to make you aware about this type of things are available so e resources are digital version of the print document in a point of view digital version of the print document which are accessed through the existing hyperlinking etc earlier we had first printing then electronic conversion now we are having electronic conversion then printing we call e to p or p to e print to electronic p to e electronic to print e to p that concept we are following nowadays so the change has taken place in different ways and we have to cope with the changes what we are having already i have told you offline online etc so today it is the one of the biggest and largest and quickest growing segment you can say that the digital collection for most of the libraries in the world we are doing about and besides that we are having some free open sources also so let us highlight some open sources because commercial etc you can purchase you can take the membership you can purchase the bundle of pick and choose facilities are also there but that is also available in the bundles etc by the publishing world of the publishing world and we are through the consortium also we are getting through the, for the colleges we are having end list from the universities we are having we should send to the ugc pune district library consortium so we are talking and then there will be so the demo of all sorts of things so let me highlight something related to open access initiative which has brought again revolution in the Uh, this academic society you can say that because maximum information or literatures are nowadays available in the online open or oh sorry open sources etc so only thing is that you have to be careful to use the open sources from the authentic sources only because uh, open sources in many of the platforms you may get the unwanted and irrelevant things also the only thing is that you have to depend and have to choose the new things i think and these are some of the electronic sources where you can preserve some of the Uh, downloaded information which you can read in the uh, offline mode later on according to your convenience that cd rom dvd rom hard disk uh, magnetic magnetic drive magnetic disk fmd then microfilm microfiche many are there so everybody's life everything's life is different but it is said that software as well as the hardware must go on changing its platforms so the moment it is changed up to upgrade to the new version you upgrade your preservation document preserved document is the new version otherwise after few years it will be obsolete or out of no use for example 20 years back 30 years back everything was in the video cassettes even all the program were recorded in the video cassette or audio cassette singing etc now you run the audio cassette we don't have any devices we don't have any device if devices are there because of the fungal attacks we cannot run it so those things are already converted into digital mode and then we are able to access it so we are we will go to the digital library the national digital library of india then your uh, swayam swayam prabha then epg parsal etc all will be taken care by uh, dr bindra park when we give to the demo electronic thesis and dissertation of uh, sod ganga then open source electronic thesis and dissertation and everything will be the electronic journals electronic books will be shown live demo by dr bindra park when we will deliver the speech so this to e sod sindhu and and list is the program of the services provided by the as an clip in center which is an iuc of ubc which headquarter is located at gandhinagar gujarat so e sod sindhu under e sod sindhu and under and list so 10000 e journals is for university 6000 plus e journal is for the colleges and e books for same 31 lakh 35000 and for e sod sindhu 22 resources and four databases are available and for colleges 6000 plus journals are there which vendor will show you in this delegation 
now this uh, there is no area untouched there is no subject left out where uh, information on any subjects are not there available so all subjects of the world are having the information in the electronic resources because pools of information are available there now of, uh, to continue the resource management etc here i would like to point out these two particular point are very very important for each and every people of the country especially the academic society and teaching community etc that you have to change the need and attitude of the student and you have to change the need and attitude of yourself also that's why i'm using the term need and attitude of you are totally changed now it is today we are teaching in the credit and grading system and semester system in all the colleges under everywhere throughout the country so under this student has to write sem uh, present seminars student has to Uh, right, submit assignment. Students should take part in debate or something like that. Uh, Students should appear in the term and examination or this terminal test, like the type of thing, or sessional examination, that type of things. And especially the assignments, the teachers are giving assignments. So, the now onwards, or many of the teachers are already doing that. They are giving assignment in such a way that the that assignment answers are not available directly from the textbook because textbook is prescribed in the syllabus. So you give the assignment in such a way the student will be compelled to go to the library or compelled to use the resources without going to the library also because this endless which is made for you for college libraries of uh, north uh, everywhere in north east India is given free of cost you can say that only five thousand plus GST so five thousand six hundred eight hundred something like that you have to pay for that and you are getting the resources of forty thousand plus rupees every year. Before up to 2017, 31st March, 18th, 31st March, uh, it was freely available. But now they are charging 5,000 plus GST as a uh, service, uh, not a registration charge, etc. So that is also free. You can say that. So if teacher has to go through it. Teacher has to use it. That teacher has to guide the information to the student. Then only you can say. So motivation, motivate the student for maximum utilization of resources by what, by which way, which I have told you now. Now they give assignment. Prepare, uh, Ask the student to prepare for debate. Just in one period, you organize some debate competition or quiz competition among the students. Like that, you can motivate the student to use of resources. And uh, as I, in the beginning, I have told you, 50 minute every books are added, and 27 crore plus books are available in this uh, where online open platform, etc. And freely, which are freely also. So this shows the caliber and efficiency of the user as well as the each and every people of the society. And here, just these are some symbolic for you. The first two one, Directory of Open Access Journal and Directory of Open Access Books. These two are widely used throughout the world. And that Open Access Journal, that is GOAJ, is one of the biggest and largest uh, open access journal platform where you can get variety of journal, lots of journal in that. And same thing in that uh, Open Access Books also thousands of books are available here. These two, Brinder will show you live when he will present it. And others you can check it later on. And this is the continuation of that uh, science diet plus wiki etc. And uh, this is open access repository. Here I would like to just point out uh, that NISCARE and e-resources by IGNO. NISCARE for scientific journal etc. And PTL program is also been there. We'll show you about NPTL also. Then IGNO resources, e-gyanpos program is there. E-gyanpos through e-gyanpos you will get the information about self-learning material published by and produced by the IGNO, the Gandhi National Open University. In many cases, many senses we have seen those are very, very useful. And anybody can upload it, go to it and download it for academic purpose only. So you can go there, you can use there and uh, it will benefit. Because in the college you are having higher secondary courses, in the college you are having degree courses, in the college you are having PG courses, so everything all type of materials are available there and this particular site www.infibnet.ac on this particular site is very important at least once in a once in 10 days or once in 15 days you go there you will learn many things new things for your help and this is the page where it's four lakhs for 27 lakh crores 43 lakhs books are there this is www.pdmdrive.net if you go to that site you will get the information and you can search the document author by title in a simple way now let me talk about world ebook library world e -book library is a world book project and it is very successful nowadays if you go to that world e library book uh, world e book library you find lots and course of documents simply after this uh, session is over you just write world e book library in the uh, this uh, google and you see the result particularly the result just i have yesterday night i have just checked for curiosity etc to tell you today in the morning session so see i have checked and world ebook library about 15 pro results in 51 seconds only see the speed and vastness even less than a minute 
15 pro records are made available and freely online available these courses and there is no area untouched that's why i told you in the beginning that no area untouched you click it if i click here it will go directly to the link if I click here, but we don't have time, I can't, cannot show you here. You can try later on. So these are some of the these are 15, 15 crore. I have just cited very few here. Okay, you can try later, later after the class. Then top ebook sites. These are some top ebook sites mentioned by this World e Library e -book Library project. So Project Gutenberg, Brinder will show you. Then Google Play Books, Open Drive, Many Books, Feed Books, Private, Best Website for Reading Books, Open Library, Good Reads, WhatsApp, all are functioning. And uh, this Project Gutenberg for a demo person, Brinder will show you. So many various e resources are there. These are the continuation of that. Asia Foundation. So these are all the www.delnet.in, wdl.org, library.com. These are all functioning at present. Okay, so we can have this access. That is why I told you that we are just creating awareness, curiosity among you that what are the information, suppose physics, chemistry, literature, history, everywhere you will get documents in this you know, languages. It's only SMH language document you will you may not get because SMH language is not yet popular and not yet resources are available. It is the duty of SMS community to make it popular and try to upload many things in SMS language. Then only it is possible. Next is uh, some useful website, online educational resources. And here khanacademy.com, here baijus.com. If I click here, it will go directly to the website and you will start accessing it. So these are some of the sites. These are only for information that these type of things are available in the society. So the Baijus are used, the Khan Academy are very much popular every day in the television channels, it is advertisements are made. And YouTube, in the beginning, I have already told you regarding the use of this. This is Gutenberg, several times I have repeated. National Digital Library, Brindal will tell you. And this this DOAB also Brindal will tell you in detail. So simply that same order, these are the book sites where you will get the online books free of cost on the open, open access platform. And this, this is this is book sites and uh, this is educational support, some university related to Indian university also you will get such type of things. This is question and answer, uh, frequently asked questions and question and answer how we can do it. You can go and search this type of things. And then this is search engine like many search engines are there. We are using Google, etc. So these are only to make you understand these other sites. This is for searching of the people and any renowned personality of the world can be searched under this. Earlier we had who's who, international who's who, like that thing. We are having yellow pages, white pages now. Everything is available in the digital format, which are very, very useful to know about a person, individual person of the country, of the world, etc. in these sources. These are some of the news channels, etc. or news agency, etc. We are also having this news agency. You can up download any newspaper, you can read it, any newspaper published from India. This is only just there to show you the path, etc. And uh, this is related to medical. This particular, this particular is at present not working, but others are working. You can see it. this is having some technical problem at present. Yesterday also I have seen it is not functioning properly, but earlier it was doing, and who knows tomorrow it may start functioning. So searching for sports, so searching for any news related to sports, etc. I will get here, here, and ethesis dissertation. So Ganga is a service provided by the ESO, uh, sorry, this Infinite Center, and here two lakh seventy five seventy thousand journals as e Full text thesis are there, and uh, you will get you will get seven thousand six hundred synopsis also, four hundred forty universities covered, five hundred eleven universities signed, and Guwahati University five hundred three five thousand three hundred plus journals are there. This is they will find all. Uh, this vendor will show you uh, show you the demo etc. When other universities are there, and this open thesis dissertation, open access dissertation here also lots of thesis are there. Anybody can upload their thesis in that. And this is some of the picture, whatever I have shown you, whatever you have discussed, uh, that can be read in the desktop, that can be read in the laptop, that can be read in your uh, smartphone also. But it is very dangerous to read everything in the electronic form in laptop or desktop or this. To some extent, laptop and desktop are uh, good because it lays, uh, emits less rays, radiation, etc. But this mobile phone, this mobile phone are uh, radiating maximum radiation. So that is harmful for the health. So this Kindle or the Apple Macintosh or Sony or Samsung or Videophone or any devices which are basically made for reading the books, etc., or e-resources, etc., that can be used. If you are using that, then your health problem will also be not there. And it is a book, good book, e -book reader, electronic reader. You can say that this Kindle is very much common, familiar throughout the big from since the beginning. And prices varies from 3,400, 4,000. You can purchase in even 50,000 one lakh also. It depends upon the capacity size. And there are various advantages. I'm not talking on that. This is simply information to you. There are some platform, online platform. These are the 
YouTube platform we are using and uh, somebody is using go to webinar somebody is Cisco websites etc this is so you should have some vision for print resources etc so every obstacle is an opportunity about for us the obstacle was the covid 19 pandemic and then change is inevitable in the beginning i have talked about the change your principal has also also talked about the change so change is inevitable and every change brings a new opportunity and this is the new opportunity we are using that it has compelled all of us to utilize this electronic resources attend the webinars and seminars use the smartphone and television etc this devices etc so earlier we were in different comfort zone now today you are in different comfort zone so come out of your earlier comfort zone and we all start enjoying what we are or what we have earlier and today level this is one of the most important thing and don't worry for the success go on working go on disseminating information success is on the other side of your comfort zone this is a message for this from this and to conclude i can say that think globally act locally lockdown has taught this uh, this us is very important use of e-resources are increasing day by day and you have to plan every so that when we are we are going to up, uh, uh, lock lock out or lock in whatever you call it unlock unlock 1.0 so we have to plan accordingly so this what why how what is very important for all of us what you need to learn why you to why you need to learn it how you are going to learn it and what is the time frame to learn it this is for all of the users who are attending this and it will vary from person to person you think apply and you will find that you are prospering in the new direction so during lockdown one can educate himself or herself in the comfort of their own home and get a degree through the e-learning platform then with the use of this latest technology even the impossible seems possible now the reality is in front of you and it is the best investment you will ever made we will ever make in your life so thank you very much uh, for giving me the opportunity and the rest of the thing will be taken care of by dr bender pal and he will show you many things in the live form demo form etc so thank you all thank you to both the organizing committee of both the colleges thank you very much thank you sir for your valuable lecture and now i am going to introduce uh, dr virendra pal another resource person of our webinar he is uh, the coordinator of ICT cell of ECLA and he is now uh, has been rendering his service in uh, as librarian in Kolyapur College. Please proceed, Brinder, for your. Uh, Thank you, Madam. Session. Thank you. Thank you, Madam, for your introduction. And respected principal sir of Debru College, Dr. Jitu Borgoy sir. Respected principals of Bahula College, Mr. Virendra sir, all the teaching fraternity from both the colleges, respected participants. Today, we are in a platform of again e learning. Respected participants, our intention is just to make awareness on the different e resources which are available and which we need to know. Even Government of India, especially MSRD, is giving prime importance to these facilities from time to time. UGC, or AICT, all these national bodies are working hard on these projects and just we are making an awareness uh, which will definitely help you in your academic activities. We'll be talking in this uh, platforms like Swayam, you know you have heard about MOOCs, M-O-O-C-S, that is called Massive Open Online Courses. Then also you might be knowing about Swayam Prabha, then you might be knowing about uh, that is called NDL, National Digital Library of India. Then we'll be talking on Sodganga, then we'll be talking on EPG Parsala, and we'll be talking on Enlist facility where you'll get more than 6,000 plus e journals and 31 lakhs more than ebooks. And at the last, I will show you some of the open access e resources which are available with a live demo. So, entire presentation will be the live demo, and I will try to show you with this uh, sharing my screen. I'll just share my screen. Sir, is it, is it visible, sir? Yes, yes, visible, visible. Okay, yes, sir. Carry on. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. So, respected participants, the first live demo which I want to show you is Swayam. Swayam is an MHRD uh, initiatives of e-learning where you will not get only the facilities of e-learning, but also you will get the provision of certification. Respected participants, that means earlier in India where you can only learn in the e-learning platform. There was no any provision and certification. But when SWAMs came, then this issue has been resolved. 
and with this uh, all the national bodies are working together i will just briefly so what is swayam before going to swayam i will show you one very important thing that when you go and visit the swayam website you first sign in with your account sign in when you click the sign in option then it will be asking for three options that means if you are a google if you are having google account google account means that gmail account which you are using right now you can directly log in with your that account if you are having facebook account also you can log in with that account once you click on the google account then your it will ask for your gmail id then once you give your google account automatically you will be log in to the swam platform you need not have to create another swam account for this so this was all about signing process in swam respected participants sign in does not means that you are joining a course signing means that you are just signing to the swam platform now i will show you what actually swam means swam is an e learning portal which is based on the three policies access equity and quality these are the three things first on each the entire course of swam is been hosted and see there are four quadrants that means four parts when you do any courses there are video lectures there are textual materials there are self assessment test like quizzes assignments and then lastly number four is the discussion forum that means you can discuss your queries with your uh, teacher respected participants again you can see that there are nine national bodies which are working on different areas aict is working for the technical education nptel that is national program on technology enhanced learning is for the engineering background similarly ugc is working for the postgraduate education cec is working for the undergraduate education ncert is working for the school education neos is okay working for the Uh, again for the school education for the open schooling so in this way all these bodies are working together on a different areas and you can go and you can ex uh, access the courses and under this categories suppose you want to go and access aict courses then you go to the aict see this much number of courses are already been uh, there and students have already this much enrolled now so this is all about aict similarly in this way you can go and you can visit the different uh, bodies which are running the courses now see there is a very important thing that is called credit transfer this credit transfer means that suppose you are a student of a dibrugarh universities if you are in a college and if you want to do a courses from other universities of india like bangalore university or delhi university and you want to incorporate your that particular marks to your this universities then now it is possible provided your own university should allow this there is a guideline for ministry of human resource development mooks guideline we can say in this guideline there is very clear cut they have given the guideline how the credit transfer can be done and this has to be followed by the different bodies even ugc has given this guideline to the universities even aict has given this guideline to the engineering colleges and the different technical educations institutions so this is all about the guidelines now the basic important guideline which i want to show is this the guideline for developing online courses for swam if you are a faculty member and if you want to if you are interested to develop your own mooks courses and you want to host on swam then you go to this guideline for developing the online courses for swam there you will find the technical specification the uh, the prerequisites what you have to do at the initial level how you have to upload what are the technical requirements all these answers will be given through this guideline you can go and you can download this guideline and you can access this guideline according to your convenience respected participants at the last i will show you this is the google play google play from which you can directly uh, what to say download this swim applications and you can install your mobile phone also swim so is not only you can access through desktop but also through your mobile phone you can access this so this is just basic, basic informations about swim i have given so in the next part what i will show these are the all courses under this all courses there will be two options one is the upcoming courses and number two will be the ongoing courses now respected participants the upcoming courses means these courses are the courses which are going to be conducted in a very short time now you can enroll for these courses you see if you want to enroll for this animation course or pedagogy of science then you can go and you can join these courses it will start from 17 2020 once you go and you join you want to join this course then you have to go to this option join now once you will go join now then they will ask some basic informations like about your name about your address are you faculty member what kind of learner you are 
and in this way basics information will be asked to you and you just fill up this form it will hardly take 30 to 40 seconds and then you will be joining these courses respected participants again i am repeating before joining to this course you have to sign into this option in the swim with your google account after signing only you have to join the courses so this is the process i have shown similarly there is another option called ongoing courses ongoing courses means the courses which are right now at present going on in the swim but you cannot enroll for this courses this courses i am talking about ongoing courses this courses you cannot enroll for this courses but the study materials the learning materials which are being used for these courses you can use for your learning purpose here there is no any restriction on uh, using this learning materials for your learning purpose you can go and you can access but your enrollment is not possible but your learning is possible in this option of ongoing courses so i have shown this options again so i will move to the next uh, sub topic of this swam that swam is not only limited to india uh, english language it has been extended to other regional languages of india like bengali hindi gujarati kannad malayalam marathi tamil telugu in this way different languages of india has been included in the swam platform you can go and you can access the course courses from this platforms also so there are different courses like introduction to research non conventional energy resource in this way different courses under nptel nptel has translated these courses into the original languages again i will show you the completed courses this completed courses means this courses are already completed but you can still use the learning materials which has used during the course for your learning purpose you can use this learning materials for your learning purpose under the completed courses options now the basic important thing which mhrd is from time to time is giving importance to this ict initiatives recently during this covid 19 situation two times this circular has been given to the universities and colleges and given in prime importance to use these platforms like swayam whatever i am showing this is swayam platform it is for e learning with certification swayam prabha i will be talking in the swayam prabha also national digital library then e pg patsala sod ganga is there e sod sindhu where i will be talking on enlist which is a college component of e sod sindhu then there are different initiatives of mhrd like Uh, e antra is there for is there is spoken tutorial is there virtual lab virtual labs means you can do your science practical virtually till class 12 i think most of the experiments are uploaded here you can go and you can do the experiments virtually it may not be like as physical but there is an initiative by mhrd so in this way different initiatives has been given and you can go and access each one which one of it so the most important thing which i want to show you right now is the let's covid 19 not stop your learning continue with swayam and this is the platform now during this covid 19 situation mhrd is giving prime importance and they have provided different learning materials through this platform here they are if you are from engineering background you go to this option if you are from non engineering background then you go to this option once you go to this non engineering background then there you will find two options post graduation again under graduate courses so here you cannot do any courses this is only for learning purpose suppose if you are you are from under graduate courses and if you want to access some uh, materials on uh, suppose i will show you on modern algebra suppose then you go to this option and you select any of this topic and you click it you will see first you will find e text e text means the textual materials on the topics prepared by the experts you can go and you can see and you can download according to your requirement similarly there is a self learning material you can go and you can watch these videos for your learning purpose so this is all about the different learning materials which are right now available and see there are more over lots of subjects like environmental chemistry is there business environment financial management strategic management basic macroeconomics international 
economics intellectual property in this way you can go and you can access the subjects according to your interest so this is all about the learning purpose through swam and very important thing which i want to highlight through swam is that there is a facility of doing refresher course annual refresher course online if you are a faculty member you need not have to go directly nowadays to hrdc center now even through swam also you can do your annual refresher program that is rp it is very famous arpit the full form is annual refresher Pro program in teaching uh, basically this courses comes during the month of september and if you are interested then you can join these courses it is basically for 80 or 84 days and you have to do the courses and you have to sit in a proctored examination that means any course you do through swam you have to sit in proctored examinations that means you have to go and sit in the rural area this lawal college is hosting this center uh, conduct, con conducted by national testing agency and nta uh, basically conducts the online courses online examinations under this you can also go and you can do the courses and you can give your examinations then only your certificates will be provided and the certificates for the annual refresher program in teaching will be equivalent to the courses which you do physically there is no any difference msrd has given this guideline clearly that this is equivalent to the regular courses even government of assam directorate of higher education has also given this guidelines so there is no any difference so this is all about swayam courses with respect to participants we have learned swayam now we will move to the next part that is called swayam prabha respected participants swayam prabha and swayam the name might have some similarity but there is a difference between swayam and swayam prabha swayam prabha is a group of 32 dth channels that means by sitting at your home using your television set you can enjoy the different educational videos in the form of msrd channels if you are having this tv at your home or if you are having dd disc at your home then you can enjoy this msrd channels in dd disc this channel number starts from 2001 onwards you go to your home today and you search from 2001 onwards in the dd disc then you will find the msrd channels now what these channels are there 32 channels are there where each discipline has been assigned to each channel suppose if you are from humanities then channel number one if you are from sanskrit uh, humanities two history culture philosophy then channel number two in this way all the disciplines has been assigned different channels like from applied science allied physical and chemical science channel number 10 if you're from engineering then from channel number 11 you can access the different courses under engineering backgrounds for the school education also these channels have been allocated so daily wise you can go and you can access these courses and this is the swayam prabha i am showing this is a portal you cannot watch the videos live here this is only a portal where you will get the information of the courses will where you get the information of the programs which has been telecasted live now thing is that i will show you the program see there is an option called current option this current option means these are the programs which are going right now in the television and suppose if you miss somehow the program at one time then there is a provision of repetition of this program on the same day for five times sometimes it may be six times also seven times also depending upon the timing of the program see these programs you will find here repetition of the program and if you want to know upcoming programs you will go to this option if you want to watch the videos which are already been telecasted in the television then you go to this option archive option and here you go and you can play this video and you can learn for your learning purpose just i will just play it for a few seconds So I'm not going detail about this. Just you can go, you can go and access this. Expected participants, there is another option called frequently asked questions. You can go and you can clear your doubts, or you might be also might be very much interested to know more about Swaya and Prabha. Then you go to this option frequently asked questions. There is an option called registration. Registration in Swayam Prabha will help you to give the SMS alert automatically to your mobile phones. If you are interested, then you go to register here. Once you register, automatic email, email or SMS alerts will be sent to you for the programs which you have, uh, which you have demand or which you have given preference during the time of registration. So, respected participants, so I 
I'm quite sure you have understood the difference between Swam and Swam Prabha. Swam is a platform of e-learning with certification, and Swam Prabha it is a it is a platform of only e-learning. There you will not get any certification in the Swam Prabha. But in Swam there is a provision of certification. Next part I will show you that is called NDL. That means National Digital Library of India. And National Digital Library of India is another great project of MHRD. Uh, again, uh, IIT Kharagpur is the uh, institution which is handling this. Even IIT Guwahati is now a part of it. And suppose if you want, first I will show you how to customize your language. Once you go to this language option and you customize according to your language, you can change your language. Similarly, if you are interested, then you can go for the different languages. And see, there is an option called login option. Login is important. You just, if you want to log in, it will ask for your account. If you don't have an account, you first time you register for a new account. Then it will ask some of the questions. It will take hardly 30 to 40 seconds again. Then once you fill up this online form, then an activation link will be sent to your registered mail. You have to activate your account from this registered mail. And then after that, you can log in to this uh, NDL platforms. Since I have already having my account, so I will log in directly. See now, I will be logged in here as Virendrapal. See now, I have been logged in as Virendrapal. Now I can access the resource materials. You may be allowed to access the resources without logging also as a guest user, but you may not get sometimes privilege for downloading the resources. So it is advisable that you go and log in with your uh, NDL account. See, if you are from school education, you go to these options. If you are from engineering background, you go to this option. If you are from science background, you go to this option. All the learning materials here, it is available and you can search. And the basic philosophy of National Digital Library of India is that all the digital libraries of India, you will find in this single platforms. You, have, you should not go individual to the digital libraries of different institutions of India. From this platform only, you can access the entire resources like ebooks, these are also different informations related to your interest. And see, there is another frequently asked questions because we cannot uh, make aware everything within this short period of time. So you go to this option, frequently asked questions. It will definitely help you to know more what is NDLI, how you will be benefited. Then see, one important thing I want to highlight is that if your institution, since we are conducting this program for the colleges, the colleges should appoint an institute nodal officer now. What the institute nodal officer will do, he will collect the name and email address of the faculty members and the students, and then it will be sent to the NDL. Then an, an, an institute account will be created for the, uh, for the academic fraternity. Now the basic advantage of institute membership is that they will get access to more resources than the individual member. Suppose even if you are having individual account, you cannot access some of the resources under Springer publishers. It is only available for the institutional institutional membership. So it is advisable for the institute to appoint an institutional nodal person who will collect the names and email IDs of the different uh, students and faculty members that will be sent to the NDL and then your institute uh, membership of NDL will be created. So that's all. And there is how different questions that you can access from this platform now. So this was all about NDL and this is only gist. You can go and you can access more information on NDL from these websites. Now I will move to the next part called EPG Parsala. It is also one of the important platform of e-learning respected participants. Here you can go and you can find access to this student's corner. In this student's corner, you will find lots of learning materials of different subjects. Suppose you are from botany department, you are from biotechnology department, you are from architecture, adult education, Chinese background, computers, Chinese language, computer science, economics, English, geology, Indian culture. In this way, different subjects are there. Organic chemistry, political science. Suppose I will show one example of political science now. And see, under this you select, suppose I want some information on Indian politics. And you just select any of this, suppose the making of the Constituent Assembly of India. Once you go, you'll find e-text. E-text means the textual materials prepared by the expert on this particular topic then you can go and you can access this e-text you can download this e-text for your learning purpose 
then there is a self learning material self learning material means this that means the video So this is all about the learning materials. Here you will not get certification. It is only for learning again. See physics, psychology, virtual arts, different subjects are there. You can access according to your requirement. I will move to the next part that is called South Ganga again, which is also very much famous. And you are, you might be aware about the South Ganga, where all the PhD thesis that has been awarded by the universities of India are being hosted together. And you can go to this website of swadganga.inflimna.se.in and you will find the list of the universities and you can go department wise and you can search the thesis of the different universities in the Swadganga platforms. So respected participants, we have discussed Swayam, we have discussed Swayam Prabha, we have discussed NDL, we have discussed EPG Parcela, now we are discussing this South Ganga, see these universities are already hosting the thesis. If you want to see from Assam, I will show you Guwahati University. Suppose, see Guwahati University is hosting 5375. If you want to talk about Debrugar University, then I will show you Debrugar University is hosting C240 thesis. Just you click Debrugar University, then it will show the department wise thesis which is up uploaded on the Debrugar Universities in the South Ganga portal. My intention is not to figure out any of the researcher here. Just this is for the awareness program we are showing here. So, see this is the, again, if you want some thesis on suppose uh, department of SMEs, suppose you just click department of SMEs, then the entire thesis of department of SMEs, which is uploaded in uh, South Ganga, that will be shown here. See, these are the thesis under department of SMEs, and you can go, Missing Loco Haita, it is you will find the name of the researcher guide. So, in this way, you will find the full text of the thesis. You can download it and you can use it for your academic purpose. Respected participants, again, I am repeating our intention is not to figure out any of the researcher, just this is for learning purpose. So, this is all about the different resources under MHRD we have shown. Now, I will show the important thing that is called Enlist. And it is very important for the colleges right now these colleges are using enlist and you also might be using enlist and you are maybe aware about the enlist facility that it is a college component of research into where 6000 plus e journals and 31 lakhs ebooks are available under the platform of enlist now how to get the user id and password for enlist it is not on free resources it is a resources where you have to get the user id and password you cannot register directly here in enlist what you have to do, you have to contact your librarian or your library staff or any other person who is handling the analyst in your college. Then you submit your informations like your name, email IDs, and then after that, the librarian will create an analyst account for you. Once the analyst account is created, then an email will be sent to your registered mail which you have submitted to your librarian. What you have to do with your email, you have to activate your account for the first time. It is an only one time job. You just activate your account and then it will be asking to reset your password. For the first time, you have to reset your password. This is a only one time job. Once you reset your password, then your work starts from here. That is called member login. You go to this option analyst and flipnet.ac.in website and then you go to this login member login option once you enter this member login option then it will ask for your username and password username is your email id and the password that is that has been reset you reset by you recently and if you are already having the enlist account and if you somehow forget your password then it is not necessary to go to your librarian or library staff and ask the password just you go to this forward option here directly and you put your username then and, and again an email will be sent to your email id and then you can retrieve your password directly if you are already having the enlist account at present so right now i am showing for the new so you just log in with your enlist account which have, you have recently been created and see here you will find lots of ebooks and e journals 
under ebooks you will find these are the publishers you see american institute of physics annual reviews economic and political weekly indian journals institute of physics j store is there oxford university press royal society of chemistry hw wilson cambridge university press so these are the publishers which are providing the e journals similarly if you want to access the ebooks then these are the publishers like cambridge mcgrohill springer different reputed publishers like taylor and francis all these are available you can go and access now how to search in enlist i will just show a simple bioinformatics suppose i need a book on bioinformatics and then you search it here once you click this bioinformatics all the documents which are available on bioinformatics will be shown here and just you click any one of this here you will get three option and this three option is important to be known to by the user that is you can read the books directly online here you can download the entire book or you can download the chapter wise book if you want to download the so if you want to read the book directly online then you go to this option read online and you see you will find this book this is also very famous in colleges so you can read the book directly online without downloading the book if you want to download the book then you go to this option for download book here it will be required for a third party software like adobe id software is there you have to download the software for downloading the entire book for this we have made a video in our official youtube channel ICT cell SCLA. You can go and you can access our channel. You will find it how to activate your Enlist account and how to download the entire book system. It is already there. It will have to take four or five minutes. Video is there, very short video. It will help you technically to handle the things. Then, if you want to download the PDF chapter, then you can download directly. Suppose if you want to download this chapter two, then only this chapter will be downloaded, not the entire book chapter. Only chapter number two will be downloaded, and then you can. access it and you can download it so this is all about that chapter downloading in analyst now next thing i will show through the analyst is that see there is a frequently asked questions now now what is frequently asked questions if you want to know more about analyst then you can go to this option frequently asked questions and most of the answers are predefined here then there is an again there is an option called license and fair use and license and fair use means that users are allowed some some of the things and they are not allowed some of the things that means they are permitted this work and they are not permitted this work so users have to be kept in mind this uh, guideline before using the enlist facility otherwise the users account may be blocked even the institute may also suffer because of the particular user so you have to take care of this license and fair use also before using the enlist facility respected participants and see if you want to access which colleges are using right now enlist facility in india or in your state or whether it college is eligible whether is college is enlist or not then you can go you can search from this here suppose if you want to see state wise list then you go to this state wise then see 133 31 colleges are from assam and see these are the colleges which are right now using the enlist facility my intention is not to figure out any of the colleges just this is for the information purpose so this was all about enlist facilities we have talked about swayam which is a e learning portal with certification we have talked about swayam prabha which is a group of 30 to 50 channels we have talked about national digital library where you will get lots of learning materials from the different digital libraries of india we have talked about epg patsala which is also e learning portal we have talked about south ganga where you get the thesises we have talked about recently enlist where you get 6000 plus e journals and more than 31 lakhs e books now i will show you the some of the websites of open access e resources open access e resources are the resources which are freely available in internet you have not you should not have to pay any money for these i will show you some of the websites doaj this is called directory of open access journals directory of open access journals here you will find all the open access journals available in the world within a single platform you you need not need to uh, access each and every website individually just you go to this doaj platform and from this you can access the open access journals to understand the concept of directory better i will set an example suppose if you are a researcher and you want to access the university websites of india then it is not possible for him to go each and every university's website so what the researcher will do he will go to the ugc websites and from there he will uh, access the websites of the different universities so similarly the concept of directory is the open access journals is that all the open access journals which are available in the world can be searched from this platforms so this is the concept of directory in a simple layman's view 
I will show you another example, DOAB. This is called Directory of Open Access Books, where you will find lots of open access books available on the internet platforms. So here you go, you can access this ebooks. I will show you another platform that is called Project Gutenberg, which is also very famous. Project Gutenberg, where you will find lots of ebooks. Then again, there is another uh, project that called us uh, Internet Archive. Here also you will find lots of uh, informations like ebooks. You can download the ebooks from these platforms also. And most of the ebooks already are available. And already Professor Sanjay Kumar Singh has told about World Ebook Library. So I will try to show you that one also, if possible, World Ebook Library. See, this is the website of World Ebook Library. Here you can go and you can access the ebooks available on these platforms. See, read unlimited books and academic articles. So in this way, you can find lots of articles, lots of ebooks available in the internet platform in the open access mode. Respected participants, this was all about the things we have shown. Now, for the uh, part, I will show one or two minutes for the school education. We should communicate this message to our school communities also because in this COVID situation, they are also facing the same problem. So our, our uh, motive is to help them also. And see, in NCRT, they can download directly the ebooks. If they can go to this NCRT website, there is a facility of NCRT textbook. They can go and download this NCRT ebooks from there. Again, Honorable Education Minister Wasam is also requesting uh, this Diksha app. So it is also uh, our duty to uh, popularize this app through this platform, Diksha application, so that school communities will get most of the e resources available under this platform. So, this is all about the different e resources which are already been available in the uh, open platform. Now, it's, it is only a gist what I am showing. Moreover, there are lots of e resources which are available under this platform, and you might also be aware about these resources. Just our intention is to make the awareness amongst us. And with this, I end my presentation and I would like to move directly to uh, uh, Madam, please. So, respective yes. participants, if you have any questions, please type in the chat box. Yes. We will take these questions. Please type in the chat box if you have any questions. Also, if you want to ask questions, you may raise your hand in the Zoom application. And if you do not find this uh, uh, option in Zoom, then physically also you can raise. We will try to see you. But uh, go to the reaction at the bottom, we'll find reaction. So there you just click and you will get that right hand or uh, that option. Yes, this is the question. Is the refresher course conducted only during September? Yes, yes. Is the refresher course conducted only during September? That means she is talking about Arpit. Oh, you tell. Okay. So see, this basically, uh, this is the experience what I am sharing that during the course, uh, September month only, they are sharing, sharing these information of the refresher course. And uh, then it, it starts, I think, from the month of November. Uh, right now, in this year, we have not seen any kind of refresher course. So basically, in the month of September, in the RPIT website, I have seen. So I am just talking this information. It might be changed in future also, but right now, September is the month. This is question or session, please, participant. Yes, one participant is question? asking that want to know about online refresher course. Online refresher course. Yes. From where? I think from RPC. HRTC or uh, this type of thing. <laughs> online resources, e-learning through e-learning. E-learning uh, that FDP uh, program is there. Faculty development program is there. Uh, still, it is going on. So last week also it was going on every now and then it is continues throughout the country. So anybody can participate uh, in uh, that, uh, but it check, check out the discipline in which you belong. If it is multidisciplinary or interdisciplinary, then there is no problem. But if it is, suppose a, a physics is going on and a person of humanity is going to attend, so that will not do, that will not work. So if it is interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary, then you can participate. Otherwise, of that subject, one you can participate. And it is said, Government of India is also telling that if two FDP is equivalent to one uh, this, uh, one RC. And uh, if this is the situation, then sure, the HRDC may also think to start this uh, uh, orientation program and uh, refresher course in uh, e-learning mode also in future. But uh, at, at this present, at ARPT, he already mentioned about 
AAR, ARPIT, etc. So through that you can attend the process. Anything sir, else? One, yes, sir. One person is asking Monika Saikia how to download foreign university thesis online. Foreign university thesis. So you, see, you have to go to that particular university, and uh, if it is there, it's fine. Otherwise, uh, I have given you the link of uh, open access uh, thesis and uh, open university thesis, etc. So two side link I have given you for the open thesis. So you may find that thesis in there. Or you can go to that university, just like for our India, we are having Sodhanga project. So in Sodhanga project, we are going and you can go to that particular subject and you can download the thesis. So that facility may be available in the university from which you are going to download. Or you want to have that information. Or you can search under the resources which I have given you. Certainly you may get there. But it is uh, somebody has to upload it first. If nobody has uploaded your thesis, then it is not possible to get. But when lots of thesis are there, all of thesis are there, then your thesis may be there if it is made free, available free. But I don't think so. Somebody has to upload it. Okay. Hanifa okay. Rahman is asking about uh, proctored examinations. What is the what is actually what is proctored examinations? She want to know. What examination? Proctored examinations in Swayam. Oh, you did. I, yes, I don't okay, have I will take it. I will take it. This proctored examinations means that it is an online examinations, but not at your home. You cannot give these examinations at your home. You have to go to the examination center. Right now, national testing agency is following these uh, examinations and CBSC NET. All these examinations are held in your area, Dibuga area. Most probably Lahawal College is the center for NTA. Again, some other may be there. I am not aware. Even in Guwahati, these areas are, has been assigned. So you have to go physically to the center and you have to sit for the online examinations. That only your certificate will be provided. That is the concept of proctored examinations. Yeah, just, just like the medical engineering examinations are going on at a particular center. So like that, uh, one center will be assigned to you. And uh, if the center is available in that place, then you will be allowed to appear. Okay, sir. Sir, someone is asking about, uh, can you explain in brief about MOOC, MOOCs? Oh, massive one, like both of them, both of them. You tell. Okay. You, tell just, you have already explained, so I yes. repeat that. It yes, is already explained by you. Yeah. Yes, yes, this is an online courses, e-learning courses. And uh, for this, we have also conducted a season. I think Professor Simser will tell. Uh, no, you, tell you tell, you tell that uh, on 4th. Okay, on 4th June, we are conducting a very special season on e-content creation. And Mr. Avise Kumar from Infinite Scientist D, he will be there. And how to develop your own MOOCs courses. If you are a faculty member, if you are interested to host your courses in Swayam, then kindly go to this uh, and register for this program, which will be held on 4th of June from 2 p.m. onwards. And you can go and go for the registration in the website of Assam College Library and Association. And today is the last day till midnight it will be available. And we have already got a huge response. So in this in this platform, you will know more about more about e-learning. And MOOCs is a part of e-learning where you can go for the courses along with certification. In simple, simple form, MOOCs means massive open online course where you can go, do your courses, you can learn and you will get certification. Yeah, we are not telling you in detail because of that program. So after fourth only, we will tell you those who have attended, they will learn and those who have not attended, they could not attend and there will be problem. In that case, we will tell you detail. So at present, we are just uh, for curiosity, etc. We are not telling in uh, detail. So fourth, uh, you attend it and apply today itself. Today midnight is the last date. And certainly will be benefited and up to 14 lakhs, a college can get up to 14 lakhs of rupees. So the lakh taka pavo pare if your college is or that teacher is selected for developing that course. So it is a golden chance, bright chance for all the teaching community of the Assam. So, and the person he has mentioned, Bender is mentioned about Jose Kumar. He is the president of India Awardee. And he is the main person behind this MOOCs and NIF ranking of our country. So we are we have requested him to deliver directly to you. He will directly face to face with you and it will be certainly benefited all of you. So register yourself quickly. Okay, yes, last question we'll take once again. In addition to the e-resource and the courses, is there any portal where teachers can conduct online examination? Portal is not there, but uh, online classes, the concerned university or concerned colleges can do it and university, what university is also thinking in this regard and many universities thinking also in this regard. But uh, at present, the private university is already yes, today. Today morning in the newspaper in the Assam Tribune, I got that uh, Assam Tribune or other paper. I got that uh, IIT IIT Patna from first to eight undergraduate final semester and postgraduate final semester they are going to start the online examination and uh, just from today itself it will continue up to eight. 
so that will be slowly and slowly started throughout the country if this type of situation arises so there is a facility there is a provision but concerned university will take the initiative only okay okay i will just unmute dr kamalendu soikya sir sir kindly will please provide your views regarding this program within 30 or 40 seconds or 1 minute dr kamalendu soikya sir please unmute yourself yes sir yes no i have written here in the uh, inbox i have something written here in the inbox yes. inbox yes sir you have given a very good comment for us thank you i have much benefited about this because uh, we uh, earlier we do not have any this information all about this resources just uh, we go to the google and uh, website and see the things there which was which was required yeah our oh, see yeah. okay, okay. please please okay. please so this is uh, this is a very good initiative of this acla so i am very much uh, benefited from this uh, discussion so see our intensive this is all about uh, yeah, yeah this is all about i can say yeah yeah thank thank you very much for your uh, this uh, information okay. and we our intention is to just uh, think from layman points of view that's why we are not going in depth of anything we are just trying to give you just create awareness so that this is that minimum information and from which if your curiosity arises then you can go in depth slowly and slowly so at the beginning level so from beginners point of view our intention is from the very first day uh, that uh, we should create awareness and because there are many people uh, who may be knowing may not be knowing so because you see library professionals and in some other person may know may know very well but when you talk about the masses so masses may not be knowing Uh, so our intention is that that each and every citizen of our state and academic society of our state should know that these are the resources available and you can utilize for your purpose for your children purpose for family purpose and so on that is the main intention that's why scla has taken this trouble of providing with the voluntary service from the very first so very few almost one month it has gone and today it is 17 or 18 number of this webinar and besides that they have conducted uh, this uh, tutorial also and a special on library science that is sort of uh, upcoming soul software so so uh, soul 3.0 software also so that is their intention to make it clear that we are for the person who wants to learn something and want to access something that is we are our intention is not that we will give you many high fi things and then you go on searching and you will not find that is not our intention so our intention is only to ever all of you so thank you very much so what to deepika now for the last session deepika madam yes Yes, Bhendra. Thank you, uh, Singh sir, for uh, cooperation. And uh, now we are going to the last part of this uh, webinar. Um, welcome, Bonali Kaur, Librarian, Borhola College, to uh, take vote of thanks. Um, please proceed, Bonali, ma'am. Respected principal, our valued invited speakers, ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to have. Ask to propose a vote of thanks on this webinar. In, on behalf, I, I, on behalf of Aurora College and the entire Dibru College team, it is a great honor to propose the vote of thanks to all who have helped us in making this webinar such a resounding success. First of all, we are very grateful to Assam College Librarian Association to giving such a wonderful opportunity. To organize this webinar during COVID-19 lockdown period, I would like to thank Dr. Jayanta Mathur for as our president of CLA and Dr. Prasant Kumar Deka sir for gracing to this webinar. Thank you, sir, for your interesting and thought-provoking address. We are very grateful to our speakers, Dr. Professor Sanjay Kumar Singh sir and Dr. Virendra Pal for their Hello, both speakers, and making this webinar very interesting and uh, meaningful. I would like to thank our principal, Dr. Virian Doctor, and uh, uh, Dr. Ditu Buraguhai, principal, Dibru College, for their presence and cooperation. I would like to thank all the people who have participated and uh, making this webinar a grand success. I would also like to thank the Blue College, uh, especially Deepika Das, to uh, associate with us. I would like to thank our staff, colleagues, 
and a technical person for their support and inspiring us. Thank you once again to all for their cordial cordial Thank you. So, yeah, thank you, Bonalina. Now, Birendra, please go ahead. Okay, sir. Think of it. Think, sir, want to say something? Yeah, just uh, I wanted to thank both the principal of the college and both the coordinator of the college, uh, Dr. Principal uh, Dr. Jitu Borgohai and Dr. Birendra for their presence and uh, organizing this uh, here, and Dr. Deepika Das, uh, Dr. Deepika Das, and uh, Dr. Bonali Moore. So both, both uh, deserves appreciation and uh, no doubt about Vyandar and Prasanta because they are the architect behind this and uh, special thanks to Srimanda Madhavbora who is the president and who is leading the SCLA from the front etc. and all the participants and we just I want to share one thing that whatever Vyandar has shown you, whatever I have talked, at least 1 to 5% also if you are using it, you will be successful. We think that we have successful in our deliberation and we are successful in awarding, awarding you in this endeavor. So there are crores of information, lots of information in that 1% uh, is more than enough what I feel. So you try after this lecture, session is over, whatever websites we have given you, whatever Brenda has shown you, you try to experiment it and try to get the information according to your requirement, then you will find yes, yes, in this COVID pandemic lockdown period, you are no where back or backward from any point of view. So you are also marching towards everybody. This today is the age of seminar and webinar. Tsunami of tsunami of seminar and webinar is going on. But our intention is the, the very much clear that we should be aware about the facts and what is available in this. So thank you very much, everybody directly or indirectly associated with this. And thanks to all the persons. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So this is the I think last part. And on behalf of Assam College Librarian Association, we would like to thank to the principal of W College, Dr. Chiti Borgohan sir, Uragohan sir, for his great initiatives, without whose cooperation, without whose support, we cannot conduct this kind of program. I would like to thank the principal of Borala College, Mr. Biran Dutta sir, for his great effort. And special thanks to Deepika Das Madam, the librarian of Dibru College and the librarian of, Bo of uh, Borhola College, Bornali Konwar, for the uh, tireless effort. Every day, uh, I think for the last two, three days, they were working very hard for this program. And really, it's a great honor for us that we have met in this platform. And this platform is success because of all both of you. So a special thanks to all, all both of you. And my special thanks to Professor Sanjay Kumar Singh, sir. I know sir is very much busy, but this movement in this moment, Sir is with us and always is gui guiding us. And it is a great honor for Assam College Librarian Association that he is cooperating, he is giving us lots of advices and guidance, which is really very much benefit for us and also for our society now. So with this, I would like to thank Professor Singh, Sir. I'd like to thank the president of Assam College Librarian Association, Sri Manto Madhubbara, Sir, who is here with us for the last two hours. I know, Sir, you are very much busy. But in spite of all, all this, we are really working under your parental care. Thank you very much, Sir. I'd like to thank the person, Dr. Prasanta Kumar Deka, Sir. Deka, Sir, is the person who is working day and night for this program. And really, it's a great honor for us that he is with us right now. Because, Sir, you are very busy. We know that. And right, last night also you were talking with me, I think till two o'clock, I think. And he was talking about this program, how to conduct, because this is the platform. We have taken two colleges under the Bigger Universities. This is Borola College and Debru College. So it's uh, another challenges for us. So sir, thank you very much for your guidance. And uh, uh, special thanks to the teaching and non-teaching fraternity of both the colleges. Special thanks to all the participants and all the colleagues we have, which we have seen here. With this, I'd like to conclude this meeting as end. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.